210, 12 years, whatever it is now, we're, we're right back at the same place where we're being called to do exactly the same thing. But the paradox here, Alex, would be then that if we begin to war against ourselves, that's going to exactly fuel the whole fire that's going on. Maybe for a brief time it would, until one side surrendered or saw the light. You know, do you know much about the New World Order? Do you know that they're building concentration camps to put millions of people in? Do you know that the United Nations has got 300,000 troops in the United States right now that they're going to use to confiscate weapons and they're selling our active military troops, sending our active military troops out of the United States so they won't be here when this happens? Are you aware that that's going on? Do you know that just off the coast, of, uh, just south of the border in Veracruz, there are 300 tons of Soviet military equipment ready to invade? I mean, th this is uh, that there are states actually wanting to Regions? succeed from the from the Union. Yes, yes. There are seven different. There are nine different regions. The United States is being has already been designated to be split up. They're getting ready to to, dis, to, to totally dismantle the United States of America. And you know, the only real part of the United States of America, and I get so angry with this, is Washington D.C., sixty-eight square miles. That's really all that is the United States. We are in the Republic of Arizona. People in California are in the Republic of California. It is those separate republics that make up a United States. Washington, D.C. has totally manipulated everything. We don't, we're no longer the United States, what the forefathers founded. It isn't that at all. And, and you know, in 1992, um, the United the Congress approved the UN Charter. Well, what people aren't aware of, because it wasn't printed in the press, in the newspapers, in our controlled media, is that because it's a treaty, it supersedes the Constitution of the United States. The UN Charter is now the law of the land, not the Constitution anymore. And in the UN Treaty, Articles 55 and number and 56. Look it up, folks. Prove me wrong. State that the United States Congress no longer abides by the, and has to abide by the U.S. Constitution. As, as of 1992, the United States of America ceases to exist. They just haven't told the people yet. And they're not going to tell them until after they have outlawed all weapons, after they have totally regulated the Second Amendment and taken everybody's firearms away so you can't fight, so you can't stand there and be free anymore. This is all part of the plan. This is, this is why the Andromedans are so strong about trying to make the awareness here in the United States, because not only does it control media, but there are some incredibly strong spiritual essences here, people here, you know, and we did this no less than 200 years ago, and many of the souls that were there then have incarnated again, and they're here. Jefferson is alive, the soul. Franklin's alive. Kennedy's back. Uh, Bobby Kennedy's back. Martin Luther King. Uh, Andrew Jackson, they're Lincoln, they're all back in physical form. They've all incarnated, they're all here in the United States. Um, because uh, right now, this is, this, this is where the, the battle is, between light and dark. You've got the greys over us, you've got the reptilians underneath us, and between us you've got the humanity of the human, uh, you've got the American people, I mean all of the world, but you've got humanity sandwiched in the middle, wondering what the hell is going on here. Whew. Let's talk for another ten more minutes. Okay. What is the ultimate agenda then of the Alpha Draconians in relation to Earth and to this part of the galaxy? They, they do not want our galaxy to move into fourth and fifth density uh, consciousness because they lose complete power. But it will anyway, won't it? Not necessarily. There are no guarantees. There are no guarantees. Uh, there's no guarantee that Earth is going to go into fourth or fifth density. There's no guarantees that the entire galaxy is going to get there. Because if that were the case, they would probably just leave us alone and not give a damn what was happening here. No. You see, the, the Draconans are third density. They're physical just like us. They can only move into fourth density by mechanical means. If we move into fourth and fifth density, they've lost their playground. They've lost control of what they want to control. So they're fighting like hell trying to hold.